Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have such a good word for you guys that God gave me for the month of September. And he is so funny. I cannot wait to share with you how he's confirmed this word, but he's been confirming this word for the last couple of weeks through my dreams, through things that I was seeing, through things that I was hearing in songs. And so the title of this video is called The Start of Something New. God is about to do a new thing starting in September, September 1st, that the month of August, this is the end to a chapter. This is the end to the season that you're in. And God is writing a new story and pushing you into a new season and a new beginning. He kept highlighting the words to me, new beginning. And I'm going to tell you guys how he gave me this word. So I kept having dreams the last couple of weeks that I was shopping. I was at the mall. I was at store, like different stores. And these were like repetitive dreams. This is not just like a one-time thing. I kept having dreams and they were in different settings each time. Like I would be in a store and I would be spending hours trying to decide which jacket I wanted, which shirt I wanted. And in different dreams, I was with different people and I just kept picking out new things like one time I was looking for a dress one time I was looking for a shirt one time I was shot like I just kept having dreams that I was buying new clothes and that I was going shopping now probably also because God knows that I need to go shopping I have not shopped like pretty much over a year ago and I just know that God has been really making me steward in this season because it's been it's been crazy, but I had a spending problem back in my old life. And so during this season for the last year that I've been in, God has really been teaching me how to steward, how to spend wisely and how to pay off my debt because I was in a lot of debt before I was saved. And so God has just been working on that and has been really telling me to pay up my debt and how not to buy things that I don't need. Because back in that day, I was just buying things. I always had money, but like the jobs that I was working were not my purpose and so now that I'm doing God's will and I'm in ministry he's been really teaching me that money isn't just coming all the time and being consistent like I was when I was working a job job and so now he's teaching me how to steward and I believe that he's doing this for a reason because he's training me and so I was having these dreams that I was buying all these new clothes and I know that God knows that I need new clothes but I've been also praying for him I'm like God I really need new clothes. I know that, so I live in Nashville and I know it's about to get cold soon and I don't really have winter clothes. I'm from Florida, I lived in LA and then I lived in Austin and so I never really had winter clothes but in Nashville, it does snow here and so I'm like, God, I need money. I need a financial provision. I need money to buy new clothes and so he's been showing me my dreams that I kept buying new clothes but I know that it was deeper than that. It wasn't just about the desire of needing new clothes. It was God telling me that he's about to do something new. And I know that if he's telling me this, it's for many. And he told me to release this word that this is for many of his people, many of his children, that God is doing a new thing. And he led me to Isaiah 43, 19. And it says, look, I'm about to do something new. Even now it is coming. Do you not see it? Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness. And God has been really teaching me how to trust him and how to depend on him that he will provide for me. And that's always been a fear of mine. Like even when I first got saved, I was always fearing how I would, how God would provide for this or how I was going to pay my rent or how I was going to buy my dog dog food, like little things like that. And each time God has shown up for me saying, I will provide when you need something. And even if it's been the last minute, God has literally never let me down and has always paid my bills, always provided for me. Even if it was like a dollar away, he has provided every single thing for me. And so I want this word to be encouragement to you guys that God is a God of supernatural provision. And he gave that word to me back at the beginning of this month for August, that he gave me the word for August saying that he was going to have supernatural provision for his children. And even if it hasn't happened yet, he's saying, hold on because the month is not over yet. And so this new word that he gave me for the month of September, he's saying that he's doing a new thing. And another thing that God was showing me in my dreams was it was always someone's birthday. Like I had a dream that it was my birthday, but it wasn't my birthday. My birthday is like two months away. And then I also had, was having multiple dreams of little kids birthday parties. Like I was going to, it was like a celebration. I was going to all these things. There was like so much dessert on the table and I didn't even know who these people were in my dream, but I was always celebrating someone's birthday. And I have this dream book and it's based on biblical concepts and principles. It backs it up with the scripture. 
And when I looked it up in my dream book, literally what it means for a birthday, it literally says for the definition, the start of something new. And I had already written that title for the month of September before I even looked that up in my dream book. So I knew that God was confirming that word that he's about to do a new thing starting in September. And this is just another confirmation because it gives Exodus 12 2 as a reference scripture for the start of something new. And it literally says this month is to be the beginning of months for you. It is the first month of your year. And then God literally blew my mind and he seriously made me laugh so hard because I'm already laughing. About, I'm already laughing thinking about it of how funny he is. So I just had brand new neighbors move into the um, apartment next door and they're really noisy like they are so loud like I really haven't been sleeping the best because they're just like constantly banging things and the walls are super thin and if you guys live in an apartment you already know what I'm talking about I I have not been used to living in an apartment like since I was probably 23 years old when I lived in Austin I lived in a house and when I lived in LA I lived in a townhome and so I never had to share walls with people since I was like 20 or 24 years old so it's been a hot minute since I've been in an apartment and been used to other people being loud and having to be considerate with what they're doing and so anyways they're just really loud and they play their tv super loud like I can literally hear I mean the walls are super thin I can hear the guys snoring like even at nighttime I can hear him snoring through the wall but anyways so I was I was in the middle of watching like a movie or something and they and I heard that they were it's like a family and I heard that they were watching a movie and I was like why does that song sound familiar it, I could literally hear their song playing through my tv and I literally paused the movie on my tv and it was the high school musical soundtrack and I kid you not I literally kid you not. I wish I could have recorded it on my phone for you guys to hear but it was this is the start of something new like that was literally playing through my walls and I'm like okay God like okay okay so he is telling me and confirming this word that he is this is the start of something new he is about to do a new thing and he's been highlighting to me freedom and abundance and new places to live new opportunities new connections new friends new favor he gave me that word strong like I underlined favor new favor new blessings all things new God is doing a new thing taking off the old and putting on the new I really do feel in my spirit that God is about to do something so extraordinary and so unbelievable that it's going to be a miracle he kept highlighting to me that whatever he's going to do in your life in my life that it's going to be so big that it's going to inspire everyone else's faith around you that it's going to stir up other people's faith so if you have unbelieving family members if you have people that haven't accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior that he is about to do something so insanely good in your life that it's going to bless others around you and make them believe and open their eyes to how good God is and he's a miracle working God and another way that God gave me this word is I kept seeing the number 624 on the clock and I would see it repeatedly and like I okay so funny thing is I was actually born at 6 24 p.m. like I was literally born at 6 24 and so I've kind of always had like a special thing with this number but like that's all it is like I've never looked it up I've never like used it as an angel number or anything like that like I'm just like I would look at the clock and I'm like oh that's the time I was born like nothing that serious like I didn't even look deep into it nothing and then God for the last two weeks has been showing me this number like non-stop I would see it on like Instagram. Some posts would be like 624 likes. I would wake up at 624 before my alarm would go off at seven. I would wake up and it'd be 624 on the dot. I would have a dream and then I would wake up and it'd be exactly 624 on my phone. And then I would randomly watch like TikTok videos and they would it would be 624 on their clock, like in the background. And I'm like, what is going on? And I woke up one morning and I was like, God, what are you trying to tell me? What are you saying? And so he had me look up 624 in Strong's Concordance. I don't know why I never did that before, but I did it this time. And so I looked up 624 in Strong's Concordance and literally my, my jaw dropped because I'm like, okay, God, you are definitely confirming to me that is what you're saying. The, what it means in Strong's Concordance is a supply of provisions, a storehouse of provisions, a store. So, whoa, God just gave me a revelation right now. Like literally right now as I'm recording this video, 
the dream that I was having of buying new clothes, I was in a store of supplies. I was in a store of provision of new clothes. God doing a new thing. God just gave me that revelation literally right now. That is so good. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But he gave me that word and then he confirmed it through not only the dream about the new clothes, but also confirming it with 624. The fact that I was born on that time and then also he was confirming it to me by looking it up. And then when I looked it up in Strong's Concordance, I knew that God was double confirming that word saying that there is about to be a supply of provision and he's doing something, a new, He's a, there's about to be an overflow of blessings for your obedience. And then he led me to, he led me to, so I was doing Bible study. So the morning that I woke up and I looked up 624 in Strong's Concordance and I saw that it said supply of provision that morning. And I just thought it was so funny how God always lines things up. Like, do you guys ever notice that? Like you'll be reading a book or something and the thing that you were praying about, like God will like confirm and line it up with something that you're reading. And it's like, he just answered your prayer through something random that you were doing. Well, he literally did that to me that morning. So when I looked up 624, in Strong's Concordance that morning I was doing Bible study and I'm in a one-year Bible study so it's not like I sought out this verse like this verse lined up exactly on that morning that I was supposed to read for whatever passage I was doing and that morning I was reading Malachi and God literally just confirmed what that meant about the supply provisions because it's Malachi Malachi 3 10 through 12 and this is what it reads it says, bring the full tenth into the storehouse. So remember, 624 in Strong's Concordance, it literally said store slash storehouse of provisions. Bring the full tenth into the storehouse so that there may be food in my house. Test me in this way, says the Lord of armies. See if I will not open the floodgates of heaven and pour out a blessing for you without measure. I will rebuke the devourer for you so that it will not ruin the produce of your land and your vine and your field will not fail to produce fruit, says the Lord of armies. Then all the nations will consider you fortunate for you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of armies. This is the response God promised when his people give as he told them to. He would bless them both with provision and protection. So another thing that God kept highlighting to me in my dream was so back in the day I used to dance. I, I, I was dance, I was a dancer since I was three years old all the way up until um, high school. And I used to ha always have these dreams that I was dancing again or that I was on stage. And I always have those dreams. But in this dream that I was, I had like maybe like a week or two ago, it, this dream was so vivid. And I know that when God allows me to remember my dream and when it's vivid, I know that he's trying to reveal something to me in this dream. And in my dream, I was literally like in front of all these people dancing. And I remember the exact move that I was doing. So in dance terms, there's this, there's this turn that you do and it's called a fouette turn. You guys can look it up, but it's a fouette turn. And you have to be really concentrated on how to do this turn. You're, you're pretty much a seasoned dancer. Like you have practiced this technique for a long time. Not everyone can do it. It's really hard to get used to doing it. And so in my dream, I was doing fuetes, but I, I literally kept going. Like it was nonstop. Like it was like I was on a record. Like it was like nonstop doing fuete turns. And when I asked God what that meant, he told me that he was about to turn things around. And I, and all of this adds up, like all of this is put together that God is doing a new thing. He's about to turn things around. He's writing a new story. He's releasing blessings onto your life. He's releasing supernatural provision. And he is about to bless you so good that he's about to open up the floodgates of heaven and pour out his blessing. And this is all tied to not only your obedience, but your faith. And God is saying that you need to have faith that he's about to do something, that he's about to do a new thing. This is the start of something new. So I want you guys to claim this word, write it in the comments. This is the start of something new. God is doing a new thing in your life. I know he's doing it for me. He's doing it for many. And this is the word that God confirmed for the month of September, a new month, a new season. We're about to enter fall. This is all going to be something new. And I'm so excited to see what God is doing. I'm so so excited to hear your guys' testimony and see what God is doing in your life because I know for me what I've been praying for and what I've been needing from God and the consistent and persistent prayers I've been asking him to do. I know and have faith in my spirit that he is about to answer these prayers and I believe that is going to happen literally September 1st or the first week of September. And so I'm claiming that for myself, claim it for you guys. I'm so excited to see what God is about to do because we're entering 
a whole new season, a whole new book, a whole new beginning. And so, yeah, God is about to do a new thing. I hope that this word encouraged you, inspired you. I hope that this word just, you take it and soak it into your spirit and just know that God, if God says he's going to do it, he's going to do it. No word can return unto him void. And so claim this, take this word. If you feel led to sow a seed and this word touched you, I will put the links down into the description box below. If you would love to sow into my ministry, I thank you guys all so much for all of your support for those who have sowed in my, into my ministry. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed. Bye. Okay, I thought the video was going to end, but you guys, remember how I just said in that video that every time I'm reading something, God always lines it up to confirm my word. So I had finished recording that video that you guys just watched. And this is like, what time is it? 7.30. This is two hours later from when I just recorded that video that you guys just watched. And I'm literally doing Bible study and I'm going to show you guys proof. So like, I'm almost done reading the Bible for a whole year. And tomorrow will be a, exactly a whole year that I've completed my Bible. Like, it's a one-year Bible plan. And I started in September of last year. And I only have two little things left. And so right now I'm reading Revelation 21. I can't make this up. Literally Revelation 21 is the chapter that I'm reading. And look what it says. Death will be no more. Don't judge my nails. Death will be no more. Grief, crying, and pain will, no, will be no more. Because the previous things have passed away. Then the one seated on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. Do you see how good God is? Like the Bible literally will confirm what God has spoken to you. And I tell a lot of people that who don't read the Bible and they're like, how does God confirm that you're supposed to move to Nashville? How does God confirm that you're supposed to release that word? How does God confirm that that's what your dream is? How does God? And it's like all of these things. But like, if you really understood God's word, you will understand that it doesn't necessarily have to say, oh, God says to move to Nashville on May, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know what you've been praying for in your head and that you know how God will answer the more that you know his character and the more that you read his word, how he answers you through his word. It's so crazy. Like after I recorded that video, I'm like, okay, God, like, is there anything else that you wanted me to add to the video? Like, is there another confirmation that you need to tell me? Cause sometimes like I've in the past, I've recorded videos and then God will literally give me something else right after that video. And he wants me to add something else just to show people like how God confirmed that word. And it's just crazy because literally I didn't even know that this was my reading for tonight. I didn't even know that until I'm literally in my one year Bible plan right now after I already recorded that video. And the chapter, the title of the passage is called The New Creation. And it literally says, look, I am making everything new. <laughs> I love God. So... If that's not a confirmation for the word that I just spoke to you guys, God is about to do something new. And clearly it's about to be an end of a chapter because literally tomorrow, this is finished of me reading a one-year Bible plan. Like tomorrow is the last day of me reading this. And it's like, God is going to start a whole new chapter because I'm going to start the Bible all over again. Because when I first started the Bible a year ago, I was like just beginning my walk with God. And so now where I am in my walk with God is so deep. And so like it's the relationship is strong and I just can't wait to go over it again and have fresh revelation and for God to open my eyes on things that I had missed previously. It's like when you're watching a movie or when you're reading a book, like something that would have resonated back then with you is completely different than if you would have watched it a year from now or reading a book a year from now, things hit you differently. And so I can't wait to see how the Bible is going to hit me differently and touch me differently. But that was just the end to the video. And it's so weird because when I finished the video, when I finished recording that, when I was in my car, something felt like normally after I record a video, I'm like, okay, that felt good. Like that, that word was done, but something felt like not off, but something felt like God, did you really want me to record that today? Like maybe there's something else that you're going to give me today and then I'm supposed to record it tomorrow. And this is exactly it because that's exactly it. Look, I am doing a new thing. It is done. So God is doing a new thing, guys. God is doing a new thing. All right, I'm going to say bye for real this time. So I'll see you guys in the next video and love you. Bye.